If you need coins, go check out UT Coins for you down in the description, an instant automated coin delivery service. You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to an absolutely massive squad builder on my channel. This team is unbelievable. It's almost unbeatable. I played 24 games with it, I won 22 and I drew 2. That is an insane record with any team. And if you have the coins, I would highly recommend that you go out and build this team. Now, there's a lot of hype going on in the community at the moment around full legend teams. We've seen JJ do absolutely amazing things against other YouTubers in wager matches. He's won billions of coins off people using a full legends team. And I had access to the most expensive player on the game. Massive thanks to UT Coins for you to le for lending to him to me again. And that is going to be Pele. Now, I know loads of you are going to be like, Tom, I wanted to try out this unbeatable squad, but you've got a player that's worth 15 millions. I can't afford that. Well, there are alternatives. I actually thought Pele was probably one of the weaker players in this team. You know, he was too small, too weak. His first touch, touch was really dodgy. He didn't score a single long-range shot for me. Um, you know, that's quite important from a centre-attacking mid player. And, you know, he didn't have that good a finish, to be honest. Um, so there are cheaper alternatives. I'd say, for example, Haggy, very similar replacement to Pele. Probably better because he is better at playing assists and making assists and making the play. Um, you know, Pele should be a striker, but there's no way I'd ever play him as a striker just purely because he'd get muscled off the ball off all the time and it would just be really, really frustrating. So there you go, Pele goes in. Maybe try out Haggy. I'll give you some other suggestions as to who you could use at Cam as we go through this squad builder. Have to say, though, the full Legends team, Un, un, it, well, it's just amazing, you know, it's unbelievable, and if you do have the access or the funds to do it, do go and try it out. So, at striker, I'm not going to dwell too long on the strikers, because you've seen my strike partnership before a million times. It's just unbelievable. It's number two and three in the FTSE 100, and uh, there is an obvious reason why. These two are just amazing. Headers, long shots, close range, poaching, they've got it all. They're just tall, strong amazing strikers they're exactly what this game requires and yeah they are just awesome it's Crespo and Ruud van Nistelrooy of course okay so this is where the team probably will start getting into players that maybe you haven't seen me use before first off is going to be Nedved at the left mid position he has five star weak foot he has three star skill if he had four star skill he would be absolutely insane now he is really, really good. Don't get me wrong. I feel like he could use just a damn more pace. Um, maybe a slight little bit more dribbling. Just be a little bit more agile. But overall, he is an awesome left midfielder. He's got good shots. He crosses it in really well with both feet. You know, he does everything that you want from a left midfielder. So definitely, if you can afford to try him out, go and try him out. He's not even that expensive. So, at right mid, we are going to be using Luis Figo, and he was one of my favourite players in the team, although he was kind of frustrating at times. Sometimes he would turn up to games, and sometimes he would just be a ghost, and he would not be there at all. Now, I would show you the stats on these players, but I don't think there's any point, because there's so many people rage quit against me. It's not a true reflection of what these players would have actually got if every game was completed. So, there you go. But Figo... Really nice player, good at coming through on the overlap, especially in the 3-5-2. You know, you hold it up top with your three three strikers, very easy to do so, just passing it between the three of them. And then you wait until someone overlaps, get it out to them. They can either take the shot themselves, get it into the box of the cross, you know, come inside, pass it to one of your strikers, whatever. It works beautifully. CDMs, that's going to be Hullet. And also Effenberg. Now, again, Hullet is a very expensive player, but he, in my opinion, is worth it a million times. He is incredible. He, I would pay more for him than I would for Pele because he is far superior to Pele. Now, if you were going to, if you could afford to get Hullet and you couldn't afford to get the rest of this team, um, well. No, if you can afford to have Hullet in your team, I mean to say, i play him at the centre attacking mid position and then maybe play Vieira at the other CDM position. The other CDM is going to be Effenberg, but we've all seen him before and he is just fantastic. Really, really good centre defence mid, despite the fact that he starts life as a centre attacking mid. Okay, moving on to the defence. I couldn't afford Maldini and I barely ever saw one on the market, to be honest. There was just none of them. And whenever they did come up, they were all like always like 6 million when he's worth, you know, probably about 3 million coins. So I never got my hands on a Maldini. Really would like to. Um, but, you know, the three that I chose to use were really good anyway. So first up, we've got Desai at the left centre-back position. 
position. He is amazing. He just absolutely destroys people, pushes them off the ball, gets it within seconds of locking onto them. It's just disgusting to play with him. You know, he's fast, he's strong, he's got great heading, great defending. Probably the best defender that I've potentially ever used. Um, at the other centre-back position, we're actually using Cannavaro. Now, I didn't rate Cannavaro. I thought he was actually very, very dodgy. Size is an issue. He's only five foot nine. If I had Maldini, he'd be the one that I took out. Um, I haven't tried the other, you know, um, defenders in the uh, sort of like the legend defenders. So Rijkaard, uh, Fernando Hierro. Um, so they're ones that I'm toying with the idea of trying out next because obviously I do want to try the best centre-back lineup that I can possibly get. Okay, in the centre-back centre -back position, we're going to be using Sol Campbell, and he did fantastic. I would definitely rate him as one of my favourite ever defenders. You know, 78 pace, 85 defending, and 89 heading. He's built like a tank, and it absolutely destroys it in the air. You know, people just cannot get the ball up to their striker. They try and clear it, you get the possession back, because he always heads it straight into one of your centre defensive mids. And then finally, in goal, of course, we are going to be using the best goalkeeper, and that is van der Sar. You can see there he goes into net and he has 84 diving, 86 handling, 80 kicking, 87 reflexes and 92 positioning. Um, really, really strong at the long range save. Sometimes gets caught out by the P-rollers, but I think that's true for any goalkeeper. Um, and the best thing about him is his kicking. Um, you get Crespo and Van Nistelrooy. You get it from a corner, for example. Um, you know, you've got one of those two strikers up front. You can boot it long to them, and it will most likely go through on goal, and they will probably score it. But it's just a disgusting team. And, yeah, it was so much fun to play with. Unbeaten in 24 games. Absolutely amazing record. Definitely try it out if you can. You know, replace Pele if you need to. Maybe replace Hullet. I wouldn't recommend replacing Hullet because he is one of the best players in this team. But there you go. That's my opinion. Legend teams, amazing. Shame they're so expensive. Hopefully, people will keep opening packs. They'll keep coming out and we'll be able to use them for a lot less money. You know, they're already starting to drop under like the 200k mark, a lot of them. So that's cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Um, there's going to be some clips in a second. Like the video if you've enjoyed, but other than that, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I will see you all next time. I don't know where we're going.